Welcome to PlanForge, the leading project and portfolio management solution. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use PlanForge's report wizard to create reports or use predefined reports such as project charter, project closure, and more. PlanForge allows you to create your own reports and customize predefined ones easily. Click Reports to access the report wizard. You can choose between three report types document reports, compound reports, and simple reports. Simple reports are the basic reports that all others are based on. In PlanForge, simple reports are created using a wizard that guides you through each step. Document reports collect several simple reports into one continuous report based on a common business object. Compound reports optionally combine a summary report with a mandatory detailed report. Let's start by creating a simple report. We are already in the reports area. Click New Simple Report and enter a title. Note that a unique report name is required. Optionally, you can provide a short description. PlanForge provides several report types. The business objects in the next step depend on the type you select now. In our case, projects with pipeline stages. You can choose between several layouts. Let's choose a simple tabular layout and click Next. Browse through your business objects to configure the columns. Select the relevant fields you want to display in your report. In the next step, you can configure your columns in detail. For example, change the title of your column. You can choose the unit in which the information is displayed, for example, effort in days or hours. Format allows you to customize number fields. Optionally, choose the aggregation. This is already sufficient to create a simple report using PlanForge's report wizard. Finally, click Save. Navigate back to Overview, Select your report and click Run. Here it is. You can export your report in various formats like PDF, Excel or CSV for simple data export to external systems. But you can do even more. Switch to the Grouping and Sorting tab. In this tab, you can configure how the information in the report is ordered in terms of rows. Select your business object and the text field you want to group by in our case, the pipeline stage and its name. Next, define the sort order. Note that you can only sort within the previously selected grouping as this automatically contains sorting. We choose Project Node and Start. Click Save. Now, run your report again. It is grouped and sorted according to your defined criteria. Go to Query and User Input and define the report query and the user input fields by clicking the plus icon. You have to select the field with the same name as the business object to get a chooser. In our case, preferred portfolios. Use the in operator to select more than one portfolio and also to automatically include subportfolios. Next, activate user input and define a field title. Finally, you can define the report permissions. The permissions determine who can view and thus execute or manage the report. Save your changes. Now let's have a final look at our report. Choose your required portfolios and run your report. As you can see, only the chosen portfolios are part of it. We will continue with document reports. Again, they consist of other simple reports. Document reports are symbolized by this icon. For example, select Meeting in the left-hand navigation. Click Meeting Invitation and navigate to Properties. Here you can customize the report to your needs. The plus icon allows you to add or remove sub-reports 
based on your business object. Save your report. Document reports cannot be run inline, so select a meeting and export your report. Finally, let's take a quick look at compound reports. Compound reports are symbolized by this icon. For example, this pre-designed compound report displays the latest released status reports for all projects in the selected portfolio. Just select a portfolio and click Run. In addition to PlanForge's reports area, you can access customizable project charter and project closure reports directly in the portfolios area. Navigate to any project, click Properties, Project Charter, and download the report. This is what a Project Charter report looks like. Now, click Closure. PlanForge's Project Closure report includes star ratings, lessons learned, and post-project to-dos. Edit this section whenever you want. Once you have completed your project, you can also download your final project closure report. PlanForge offers additional features for fast and effective status reporting. Find out more in our detailed tutorial. Stay on top of your projects and portfolios and make more informed decisions with PlanForge's customizable reports. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. PlanForge empowers teams to make projects work. Start your first project now at www.planforge.io